right guys I'm what Beck sews welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new today I'm doing my Friday sews so it's been a little while it's been two weeks since I've released a vlog um, and I just want to say a massive thank you because a lot of you have contacted me um, I have been pulling and I did pop a, a a message up on my community tab to say that I've been unwell. Um, I was unwell when I was filming last time and I just didn't have the energy to do it. Um, struggled with shingles and then a chest infection so always fun um, to get through but I was very lucky and my doctors were fantastic with me and I managed to recover in time to go off to sunny Menorca for a few days with my partner which is where I was last week which is why I didn't pop up a vlog. Um, so I'm going to share today um, some of the things that I've actually been making recently um, I'm going to share today also the stuff that I wore on holiday so it might be a bit of a long vlog um, and apologies if that's the case um, and let's kick off I think with what I'm wearing so I think I actually showed this to you in my last vlog but I had no pictures because I wasn't particularly well this is the Friday Pattern Company Davenport dress, which I have hacked into a top. And the reason I've hacked it, it was one of those happy accidents. I'd made a bit of a mess up of cutting the fabric in the first place, um, and I just didn't have enough to do what I wanted to with it. But I absolutely love this fabric. I got it from Neil's Fabrics. They're an online shop, um, but they don't have all of their stock online. So they've actually got a market stall in Milton Keynes. I love it. They've always got these great big bargain bins that you can go and buy like five meters of fabric for five pound. Um, and it's always quite nice quality. I've had quite a few bits from there and they've worn really well. Um, and I'd bought this and I'd forgotten that I bought this when I was sorting through my stash and I thought it's perfect for the autumn. So with Davenport, I like to roll my sleeves up, but this is made, there you go, lovely sleeves. I absolutely love the sleeves on the Davenport dress. Um, and then you've got a lovely elasticated um, sort of neckline um, that goes into a yoke here. And then I have actually ended up putting in an elastic casing around the side and used the back and back of the skirt to make a peplum style um, top. Um, it's very, very comfortable. I really, really like it. I've worn it to work now a couple of times um, and I just think it, it, looks, it looks really good. Um, so I'm really happy with my accident of a hack of the Davenport dress. So I just wanted to share that because I'm wearing it, but also I know that I hadn't shared it before. I have popped a picture in hopefully already of me in it that I nicely took this morning, still looking a bit blurry eyed. Um, and then one other thing that I would like to quickly show you, which was again, I'd shared this in my last vlog, but I hadn't shared a picture of it. And these are the Anna Allen Pomono pants. Um, they're my black and white dotty versions, but I got, um, I wore them to work yesterday and I got one of my lovely colleagues to take a photo of me in them. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. She took a very flattering photo of my rear side, which she then made me, me she then made me post on Instagram as well. I tried to get everybody to talk me out of it and they weren't having it. So um, you got a lovely flattering picture of me on Instagram. But that is the Anna Allen um, Pomono pants. And I just thought I'd share them because I love seeing makes on. Um, I haven't done the videos today because I've got quite a lot to get through. And I know when we do, when I do my vlogs normally, I like to put them on and have a video sort of me moving around in them so you can see how they move. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing that for you today. But we will get back to that next week. It's just that I've got quite a bit to get through with you guys. So what have I been making? So first thing I made, I haven't got it to hand, it's actually in the wash, sorry guys, was the Nina Lee Carmel jumpsuit. Now I shared my progress on this last time. I've just got the bodice made up um, and I made this out of a viscose linen fabric um, that I'd bought from my local shop in Northamptonshire. And um, yes, it, it's just beautiful. I've got this fabric in quite a lot of colorways. I've still got more colorways of this fabric and I really like it. I've made a few things out of it. But this was supposed to be a wearable toile version um, and it turned out really well. I mean, there's some mistakes I did say with zips. I don't like zips. It's something I need to practice with. Um, but to be fair, I know it's there. I don't think anybody else does. But yeah, the zip wasn't perfectly put in. 
but I think with practice I'll just get better. So here it is, is a picture of the finished piece. Now what I love about this pattern, you've got changeable necklines, so I've gone for the scoop neck, like neck, scoop neck, neckline, yeah, scoop neck, neckline i've gone for the scoop neckline um and but you've also got a v neckline and you've got one with a collar too um and then you've got a um sort of summery version sort of strappy version of the carmel jumpsuit um the one that i've gone for i went for this one because i was practicing i do want to do a v-neck one as well um but i thought it's perfect for layering so I wore it with a cardigan to work, um, which again, it's quite nice. It was very comfortable. It was perfect for the temperature that was outside. It was just a thin cardigan. It looked really nice with a lovely thick, chunky cardigan as well. Um, but I thought you could style this with um, a patina blouse underneath, especially if you did the V-neck one. I think it looked great with a patina, which is what I've kind of got in mind for my next version. Um, I think it would look great with a, a turtleneck underneath so you've got patterns like the Monroe, Monroe turtleneck which is a free pattern from Tasuti Patterns um, you've got uh, the Freya from the stretch book from Tilly and the Buttons um, South Bank sweater I think is can be turned into a turtleneck version so all of those would look great under this um, jumpsuit the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes um, tee would also look great under this so it's quite a great stable pattern that can carry you through all months and i've got so many more planned but it comes together really beautifully i'm absolutely in love with this and i've got intentions of making more um spoiler alert content that's coming your way i have a lovely fabric haul for you and in that fabric haul i'm going to be sharing some fabric that i've got planned for more of these to be made up what else did i get up to so um, one of the things I actually made, which is currently inside out because I've just pulled it out the washing pile and it will need ironing as well. So apologies about this. It's not going to be um, lovely and uh, pressed for you. Um, let me just do the button up at the back. So one of the things I thought I would try out was the new Marnie pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. So it has this gorgeous ruffle neck. Um, I, because I have a fairly large chest, I decided not to go with any added detail around the chest area and just do a very plain sort of gathered um, front. And then I omitted the ruffle on the sleeve as well. But oh my God, these sleeves are amazing. Um, it's at the back of it, it's got a um, sort of, it's got a button. There's like a little gap there. Um, so it's just quite straightforward dress pattern it's definitely a smock dress pattern so this dress isn't for everybody and i've heard mixed reviews about the dress the preference over the blouse when i made it bearing in mind that i have a fuller figure i was concerned about making the dress version um but actually i love it it's the most comfortable thing on the planet i think because i've made it in a dark color it feels more flattering maybe maybe that's maybe that I, I did intentionally pick a darker color um but yeah i i just feel that this is really really nice now i don't see lots of these in my wardrobe it's not one that i think i'd wear very often but there are lots of different ways to style this i did think that um you could put a pair of knee high boots with a big pair of thick tights on you could have a nice chunky cardigan over it like a chunky cardigan in the winter um you could put your dot martins on with this um make it sort of a completely different style um in the way that you're wearing it you could even whack a pair of heels on with it as well and you know a blazer over the top um so there are it is quite a versatile pattern um as the dress goes i don't think like i said I don't think I'll make too many of these. I will pop some pictures in of me actually wearing them for you so you can see. Um, I love it. I'm really happy with it. I do want to give the blouse a go because I think, again, I would only have the ruffle on the neck um, and I would stick with the without the pin tucks or the pin tucks on the arms just because it's just a bit too much detail for me, but there are some amazingly beautiful versions 
where people have done this and they just look stunning. Rachel from Stitched Up, um, her Marnie blouse is amazing. I think it's gorgeous. I'm looking to see, looking forward to seeing Rowan's The Yorkshire Sew Girls because she has um, got plans to make one. Um, but I've seen, is it Deborah from The Sewing Bee? Her version was just stunning. They've all got the pin tucks on them, but it's just not something I I would wear. Um, so yeah blouse is in plans. I hope you like the pictures I've put in. The fabric that I've used for this I believe was originally from Rainbow Fabrics but I, I used the lovely Tamlin from Sewing on the Tines. Um, she sent it to me from her D-Stash account which I purchased um, and it is just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, so yeah, really happy with my Marnie blouse dress make. You can tell I've not vlogged in a couple of weeks. I'm getting my words all tongue-tied and everything. Um, what else have I been up to? So the next thing that I want to share with you is some comfies that I have made. So I have shared this top before. Um, this is the Tilly and the Buttons Nora top. Oh. There we go. Um, very, very cosy. I bought this fabric um, last year from Fabricland. And I spent more time wearing it as sort of like a home garment, loungewear type thing. And I'd usually chuck it on with some joggers. Um, but I decided that I really wanted to make it into a matching loungewear set. And when I went back onto Fabricland earlier this year, I found that they still had this fabric in stock. So I ordered it and it got delivered. And then because I was feeling poorly, I was really in the mood for making comfies. And I'd also ordered some of the fabric, the viscose French terry, brush back to French terry from First for Fabrics, um, that um, the lovely trio, Tamlin, Rachel and um, Ruan, were using to make their closet core, um, their tracksuit version, so the myelin sweater um, and the joggers, can't remember what they're called. Um, and I wanted to um, do exactly the same with mine with these patterns that I've done here um, and I thought oh well let's give the joggers a go in this fabric and see if they're comfy and I like them as a loungewear set. So sorry I really really rambled on then didn't I? This is the Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers. Um, I have added a top stitch over this purely because I actually prefer the way it looks. Um, I just and, and it does hold the elastic in place. Um, but the Tilly and the Buttons um, joggers have got these lovely slanted pockets um, that are great. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're really easy. They're really simple and they come together in like an hour. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. I'll pop some pictures in of me wearing this. Um, it is a really comfortable set. Um, like I said, I've, I've made that to finish the top that I'd already made from Tilly and the Buttons, the Nora top. Um, with intentions of then going on and making up another pair because we're getting to that time of year where we just want to be cosy. So um, that is actually my next making in my plans for next week to get that finished in my other fabric as I washed it all before I went on holiday. So they were the makes that I got. Obviously I was poorly so I wasn't as productive as I normally was um, but I still think I managed to do really well with what I got sewn up and finished. Um, I thought I'd touch upon what I took away with me to wear on holiday from a me made point of view um, and um, whether I actually wore them or not. So I'm pleased to say everything me made I took on holiday I wore and I wore more than my ready to wear which um, is always a good thing because that's the aim of what I'm trying to achieve this year. Um, I had the Saguaro set by Friday Pattern Company that I took with me that I shared with you and I've had a lot of love for over on Instagram and I'll pop a picture in of me wearing it on holiday. These pictures, some of them have been taken by my other half, some of them were just selfies in the mirror. Um, I wore this as day wear, we went out and about walking around Menorca, um, well not walking we went to Mahon and we went down to Punta Prima, I think I've said them right, um, and it was perfect outfit actually just for mooching about in because it was still quite warm, you get the old chub rub, so trousers when you're moving about was perfect. So that was the first thing I took away with me and that I absolutely loved wearing. Um, 
and I was quite proud when I got a few compliments on it um, because I'd made it. Um, the next thing I took away with me was my hazel dress. It's a rosary apparel pattern. Um, I made this back in June, July, might have been June, um, and I made it out of this beautiful fabric that I got from Hobbycraft, and it's a jewels fabric. Um, it's a cotton fabric and it which means it was nice and easy to sew up and came together really well um and i think it looks beautiful i wore it out to dinner um and obviously i'm, I'm made up in my picture because i wore it out to dinner and i felt very glamorous in this dress but also very summery in this dress um i found that this is a great holiday wear and actually the fit on it it is a bit better than it was a little while ago when i made it i've lost more weight since then and I actually find the fit was perfect for me um so that's good although if I carry on losing weight it's not going to fit me for much longer so that was the hazel dress um, from Rosie Apparel in the Jules Cotton from Hobbycraft the next thing I took away with me was my Anthea blouse dress from Anna Allen the reason I slowed down when I said that was because I went to say the An Anna Allen the Anthea Allen dress Let's just start again, shall we? Let's not even try and explain what I was trying to say. So this is the Anthea blouse dress from Anna Allen Patterns. Um, I've shared this with you again. This is the one that I've had a lot of love for on over on Instagram. I wore this of an evening because it's a viscose fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. Um, it was nice and light. It wasn't too, um, it wasn't warm, even though you've got slightly longer sleeves. Um, I had the belt round it just to draw it in to give me a bit of shaping and I chucked some sand on with it as well. I love this dress. I must admit it is gorgeous. This is something I need to make more of. And I've said before with this dress, I feel like I can style it in many different ways. I did on holiday. I didn't get any photos of it, but I would wear it over a top just to feel that little bit more glamorous when we were going down um, to the restaurant in the evening. Um, just felt like a little bit more made up sometimes. So that was how I styled it for that particular occasion. The other thing that I took with me, and bear in mind we only went away for five days guys, the other thing I took with me was the red saguaro top that I'd made, again it was the back and back version like my other version, um, the idea came from So Like Dotty and if you haven't seen her blog, her blog, her blog over on the Friday Pattern Company website please do go over and check it out because it's amazing and um, this make is actually gorgeous um, and the idea was completely taken from her so just just saying there um but this red saguaro top i wore out as well i burnt really badly one day and i needed to be covered up and this was perfect because i burnt all here so this was perfect to wear we'd gone for a four mile walk on this particular day and it was stunning it was all along the coastline just gorgeous um if you haven't been to Menorca and you haven't been to Salgar which I think is the way you say it where we stayed it was just beautiful absolutely beautiful um so yes I took that with me and I wore that the other thing I paired that with was my Anthea Allen um pomono pants shorts um again because we were doing a bit of walking I wanted to wear some things to avoid the old chub rub um and I I'm, I'm on the fence as to whether these actually went together, but it, I was on holiday. I didn't particularly care and it was very comfortable and perfect for what I needed it to be whilst we were away. So that was the other outfit I took with me. Um, did I take anything else? I think that was everything that got worn um, that I took. Like I said, I was only there, well, I was there for four days and I had a night in, ho in a hotel in an airport the night before. So um, definitely made the most of my me made outfits and had a fab holiday in the process. So that was the holiday. What am I going to be up to? Okay, guys, so I've got some content to film this week. Um, this weekend, I'm planning on um, filming a fabric haul vlog for you to see what I've um, been buying recently, even though I wasn't supposed to be buying, I did buy. Um, I have got um, some plans for the week ahead. So my first plan is to make up, as you saw, the comfy set. I want to make a Tilly and the Buttons Nora top and a Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers from the navy blue um, version of the Viscose French Terry brush back from First for Fabrics. Um, I've got that all washed and it's currently drying, which is why I've not got it to hand. 
The other thing that I have been thinking about making up this week is the Adrian blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Um, I got the, I finally got the pattern. I've had it for a little while, but I got the pattern printed off. And then I was looking through my wardrobe earlier this week. I've made all these trousers up, but I haven't actually made up many tops to go with them so i thought the adrian blouse would be perfect um to give that a go and i've got some beautiful jerseys that i think would work with that i want to go through i haven't quite made my mind up as to what fabric i want to use the other pattern now this is being ambitious because i'm talking about a week but the other pattern i've bought this week um and i think again it'll be another fairly quick sew is the new pattern from Tammy Handmade, the Priya dress. Um, so I've got that printed off. I've got to stick it all together because I did it on the A4. I didn't send that one off to Copy Shop. Um, but I'm going to stick that one together, hopefully sit and do that tonight actually, and find a fabric for the longer tiered version of the dress um, to make that up over the weekend. Um, I've been having a look and reading through the instructions and it's just one that I feel very excited about making. Um, when she gave us a, a, a snapshot um, of this being released that she'd already made up ages ago, I've been waiting for it to come out. So the day it was released, I purchased it. So hopefully you'll see those pictures come up over Instagram this week because I'm sure I'll make it up and wear it straight away. Um, and yes, and hopefully I'll get all of these made and I can share them with you next Friday. So that is everything from me. Thank you very much for having me and coming back to watch me again. Have a fabulous week and I hope you've all got some time for sewing and I'll catch you all soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.